What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to get you up and running with your first Pi game window as soon as possible. We talk about the absolute necessities you need to set up a basic Pi game game. These are the initial steps that you would do at the beginning of a program to start filling in with a game. And then we talk about the best resources and places for you to go to get the knowledge to fill it in with whatever type of game you're trying to build. The entire basic setup takes barely five minutes including me discussing what every element does and talking about how to take it to the next step further so let's dive right into this quick and easy crash course All right, so let's take a look at the very basic minimum you need to create a working Pygame window. The purpose of this tutorial is for people who maybe know enough Python or are really curious in doing it all themselves, but they want a quick crash course in how to get a functioning window with the bare minimum in Pygame. If you're looking for more in-depth Pygame tutorials or how to essentially create really massive projects, I have two playlists on my channel. One is an introduction to all the basics of Pygame, and the other one is complete game builds in Pygame. So if this is too basic for you and you want to continue your learning, then I suggest you check out those playlists. I'll also link them both below and in this video somewhere. But for now, let's take a look at how quickly and easily we can set up our first Pygame game. So start by importing the Pygame module, and if you don't have it, run pip install Pygame. I'm not going to cover how the pip module works in this video. Um, and then call pygame.init, which bas basically initializes it and lets you call all the functionality of Pygame. And then I always like to start by defining a width variable and a height variable, and then create a screen variable and using pygame.display.setMode, we define a screen of fixed size using width comma height inside square brackets inside the curl, uh, the regular parentheses of pygame.display.setMode. That creates a window of our defined width and height. And then the only other real necessary things are uh, to define a frame rate of 60 seconds or uh, 60 frames per second. And then a timer of just pygame.time.clock, just like that, uh, so that we can kind of control the speed at which um, the game runs. And now we can really move on to what I like to call the main game loop, which is this spot where you want to create a variable. I'll call it run and set it equal to true. And until we tell that run variable to be false, we wanna say while run, our game is active. Let's keep running the window and displaying the window. So what I'll do is I'll say screen dot, not blit, screen dot fill, and then choose a background color. Pygame uh, does recognize RGB values. So if you want to, you could type in here um, an RGB value of whatever. Um, to uh, an RGB or Pygame also recognizes common colors if you just type them in quotations. So screen.fill at gray should give me a gray background. And then to control the speed using that frame rate and timer we made, do timer.tick at FPS. These are the bare minimum things you need to just kind of have your game up and running and working properly. And truth be told, timer.tick at FPS is um, still an optional step, but your game gets really weird if you don't control the frame rate of your game. So <laughs> that's just uh, a tidbit there. And then what we need to do, or this will crash our computer, is we need to find a way to exit this infinite while loop. Even basic programmers should be familiar with the idea that an infinite while loop it uses an infinite theoretically infinite amount of compute, and so we need a way to exit it. So what we do is we do something called uh, event handling, and we say for event in pygame.event.get, which is the pygame module's way of getting everything happening on your mouse and your keyboard and your screen, touch screen, touchpad, anything else, a keyboard, an external joystick if you had it plugged in. And then we'll use a very specific type of event, which is the quit button. So if event.type is equal to pygame.allcapsquit, this is the red X that automatically populates in the top right corner of the window. Then we'll set run equal to false. And then the last thing we need to do is uh, sort of draw 
everything onto screen slash display the screen. And to do that, it's just pygame.display.flip, just like that, throw it onto the screen, and then outside of while loop exit program. And to do that, it's just pygame.quit. Okay, so this 25 lines of code, and a lot of that is spaces and comments, is going to let us boot up a game that gives us a gray background at 900 pixels by 800 pixels, um, and it just says Pie Game Window, and they have their default icon up there. But here you have your very first functioning game window that you can start drawing things onto. If you want to add more player controls, you do it down here add player controls in event handling. If you want to draw things onto the screens, you would add gameplay functions up here. So you would do like draw screen and then uh, draw screen and then draw your player and then update your player. And typically if you have a bunch of enemies or a bunch of uh, buttons or anything like that, you'd create classes for those. So again, we show how to do all of those things on the channel in the more detailed tutorials. The purpose of this was to get you basically up and rolling as fast as possible so that you could start playing around with Pygame. So all I did here for now is show where you would put those gameplay functions. I'm not gonna draw anything else onto the screen. I'm not gonna add any player controls. I do all of that in a ton of tutorials on my channel. The purpose of this was a crash course, get you that first Pygame window as soon as possible. I hope you found it useful. This truly is the bare minimum. Even things like defining a font and changing the caption that shows up on the title bar, which are really easy, are not necessarily the bare minimum. So I got you started. There's so many great resources on my channel and others and the Pygame Docs website, Stack Overflow, you name it. Our, our Pygame on Reddit is actually a great resource too. So let the learning continue. I hope this was a good crash course to get you started with your first Pygame game. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye.